Hey everybody, my name is Gadev, welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're gonna continue this series, boys. In the last video, we simulated, uh, well, we went into the playoffs. Uh, we continued the playoffs and we ended up getting, being swiped in the second round, uh, second round. So that was pretty much embarrassing, but we made it to the second round. So at least I'm happy about that. Uh, now, the one thing we have to do, we had to do is go into the preseason, do our draft lottery and uh, getting to re-sign all the players. So we did that. We got rid of a bunch of players. Now we're into the free agency, right back where we last left off. I'm gonna show you guys already started to sign or to uh, add some contracts to a couple of players uh, here and there. So uh, what I ended up going for right here is, I went for obviously, I want to sign uh, Janmark and Strom. So they're gonna be my two centers. Uh, Getslav, I don't want him. Uh, even though it was an option, uh, I'm looking at discipline as well. Whoever's got the most discipline, you know, because we're taking a lot of penalties. We were taking a lot of penalties during the, uh, the playoffs. So I'm looking at that special, uh, especially. Uh, we're going to have Nick Paul, Kelman, and uh, I got another one, Rodriguez for the minors. Left wing position, I'm assigning Palat, obviously, and Jan Krakow is signing him back. Obviously, we want him back, boys. He's a great player for us. Minor-wise, now we need to uh, to figure out who do you want in a minor. Obviously, I'm looking for power forwards, snipers, or playmakers. Uh, we've got uh, Timoshev right here. And I'm also looking at the discipline, boys. That's the one thing I'm looking at the most. So discipline seems pretty good. We're going to assign Timoshev for a five-year deal. Assign him, boys. He wants two million, so we're going to give him 3.2. So lots of money for this guy right here, for a minor player, but it is what it is. Uh, let's, uh, we got Perlini, sniper right here as an option. 85, yeah, pretty good. So we're gonna sign him again uh, as well. So uh, there it is. We need four left wingers, boys. We need an entire left wing, uh, left wing side. So uh, we're gonna sign him for four years and uh, we're gonna give him uh, 1.75, I guess. 1.75, there we go. And uh, next up, Yaskin, power forward. Uh, in discipline, is really up there. It's uh, really up there. So I am going to assign Yaskin. Uh, one year deal, sure, why not? Because we don't know for sure if... Well, actually, no. Let's give him for multiple years because I want players to, to, to stay there for a while. So 2.5, boys. 2.575 for six years. Uh, we've got otherwise... Who, who else do we got? So let's see. Next option would be between these guys. We got Charles Udon, Ma Michael Del Cole. Michael Del Cole's got a lot of discipline. What about uh, Udon? Not really. And uh, Cruz? Not at all. They're pretty bad. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for Del Cole. Del Cole's a good one, boys. So, let's go for him. Four years at two million. Four years at two million. So I'm really giving, a lot, uh, giving up a lot of money. For these guys but since i don't have any salary cap i can do whatever i want boys so it is what it is right winger uh we obviously are gonna get our hands on one of these two raquel or dustin brown not pavelski because pavelski is a two way forward so we don't want those uh, a playmaker power forward that's what we want let's take a look discipline uh raquel or dustin brown dustin brown not good at all. Not not uh, any discipline whatsoever, boys. Not too good. So we're going to get our hands on Ricardo Raquel. He's going to be our player, I guess. Uh, we're going to sign him. Sure, six years. Why not? New York Islanders are interested in him. So we're going to have to put up uh, some juicy uh, contract on him. So 9.475, uh, boys. Big time contract for Raquel. And we need two players for the minors over there in the right wing position. So let's see. We do have a, a sniper right here available. Uh, Michael Grabner. Sure, let's get him. Pretty good. Uh, one year. No, let's give him a six-year contract just because I want to get them for a long time uh, in the minors. There we go. And uh, Playmaker. So Patan. It's either Patan or uh, Raquel. Not Ra uh, Raquel. I did that thing again. It's that glitch, boys. All right, so Patan 85. 83 for uh for Ferk and Ferk uh not too not as good so uh, we also have these options I guess Sprung Daniel Sprung 
a good option right there boys that's a good option 87 actually pretty good and uh he was a power forward i'm pretty sure before and then he's a sniper now but uh mulligan mulligan's a really good one yeah we're gonna get uh dennis mulligan boys he's a really good uh, uh player for us he's gonna be a really good one for us so uh 2.525 for him for five years and that's gonna be our two players defense now now the defense we need one defenseman for the league for the main league we're obviously gonna pick up Latin boys unless we can pick up any of these three guys really I'll pick Latin boys Latin is just he's an elite he's an elite he's got better uh, overall they're both the same age I gotta take the one that's the better uh, option right now I feel like Latin would be the better option so uh, 9.4 sure uh, so 9.425 uh, hopefully he accepts for five years Winnipeg is interested in them so hopefully he accepts to come with us instead uh, for the, the miners we do need three defensemen boys let's figure this out so we got a bunch of two-way defensemen and everything Hutton whoever do we want right here let's get Boris Boris is a good option so five years for him at uh, 2.8 Let's get him at 2.8 really quick. 2.825. Uh, so that's done. Benning. Benning uh, is actually a good option as well. A good option for any of these guys. De Kaiser. No, De Kaiser is a, d a defensive defenseman. We're going to sign Ben Hutton, boys. He's a good option anyways. He's a good option as any. Let's sign him for the six-year deal at uh, 2.125, uh, boys. There we go. And we just need one more defenseman. So Benning, uh, do we want him? Is he any good? Actually, not really. He doesn't have a good discipline. Uh, what about Bennington? He has some uh, Killington. Uh, 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 Shillington has some good discipline. So we're going we're gonna to sign Shillington, boys. And uh, five, a uh, five-year deal at 2.775. Uh, Let's do that, boys. And there it is. So that's all of them. Uh, I do need uh, a goaltender as well. Hold on. A goaltender for the miners, boys. We can't forget about that. Very important. So another goaltender for the miners. It's all the way. So uh, Forsberg. Let's see who had the best season. Picard had the best season, seems like. Never mind. Lindgren is pretty good. And Devon Dumnik hasn't played, actually. Hasn't played at all, really. And I don't know about these, this, uh, this one. Who's got, I would look at Vision, 85, 84 for Lindgren, got an 84 right here as well, and uh, 85, Fosberg and Dubnik, let's see at Dubnik, he's a veteran goaltender, let's give him a, a chance in the minors, I guess, let's sign him, so a uh, four-year deal for 2.75 uh, boys, so there it is, we're going to have Dubnik in the net in the minors. So let's uh, let's simulate really quick, boys, and see uh, if they all decide to sign with us. Uh, Chillington is with us. Good. Perlini, good. Nick Paul, Yaskin, Rodriguez, good. Uh, Yarn Crocs going back. Timoshev, Zboril, Kelman, Dubnik is going with us. Yes, Grabner. There we go. Dal Cole as well. Mulgan, Hutton. All right. So these are all the minor ones. Uh, let's see for the big ones. Ricard Raquel did sign with us. Ryan Strom as well. Latin. There we go. Pilat. Janmark. All right. They all accepted. Everybody accepted the contracts, boys. So fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Let's um, simulate until the t 10th. Just so I want to see uh, what the other, where everybody else went. So sign-ins. Let's see. Cahoon, Anisimov. Oh, Shane, doesn't matter. Pavilski is going to Vancouver. Brian Ross. Phil Kessel is going to Vancouver as well, boys. Keith Yendel is going to Vegas. And I think that's all there is. I mean, Matthew Kachuk, Matthew Kachuk did sign a, a, a seven-year deal with the, the Calgary Flames. So that's that, I guess. They were, I mean, they were free agents per se, McAvoy or stuff, but it's uh, it's RFAs, so it's not UFAs. So they were just put in there. They were available, but you need to do get rid of a bunch of stuff in order to get them. So 
There's no way I was ever going to go for them. So that's pretty much that. Uh, Seattle Kraken. Okay, so they want a second round and Nielsen for two thirds. I'm not like I'm not trading anybody right now. I've got my team. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to edit the trade block, boys, so they don't bother me at, uh, at all. So let me just edit that at all. I don't need anything right now. All right, here we go. So we are into the next season, uh, in the preseason, I guess. And what we're going to do is we're obviously, we're going to keep the same strategies as last year. It was seemed to work. Uh, it seemed to work out. We're going to look at our roster moves, obviously, first. One, two, three, four, and five. Obviously, your instance is going to be our uh, our depth uh, forward. We got our four players in there. Our four players in here as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Timishov. Wait, we signed. Okay, so we signed Timishov. He was 79 overall, but now he's actually an 81 overall. So he's actually a player that's available to play for us, which is kind of interesting. And uh, Tanev is a two way, and Timishov's a playmaker. So I guess we're switching it up. Tanev, you're going to be playing in the minors, my guy. And Timishov's going to be playing in the uh, league itself, I guess. So that's just how it's going to go. Right winger. Uh, do we have anybody right here? Nope. Okay, so we're good. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Seems like everything's fine. We got all our defensemen. Uh, Fleury, wait, somebody grew? Oh, Killing Shinnington actually grew. That's why. Yeah, Shinnington is supposed to be in the minors, but he grew as well. So he's somebody that also grew. He's off offensive defenseman, pretty good. I do want to have Fleury in there, though. Wait, Fleury is not even a, a, an elite, so potential dropped actually. Fleury's potential drop, and I signed him for signed him for a big deal, right? Five year deal at five million is potential dropped, pretty bad. Zboril, but shell potential went up as well. Ooh, uh, well, not potential, but uh, it's overall went up. Eighty of discipline for Vince Dunn. Uh, we've got Alexiak, eighty five. He's Pretty good. He doesn't have any offensive awareness, but it's pretty good. But uh, Alexiak is a... Oh, he's a defensive defenseman. Let's get rid of him. Let's get rid of him. Alexiak, you're playing the minors. Uh, Zboril, you are the, a two-way. Is there anybody else like uh, that's like a, a, a defensive? Nope. I don't think so. No, everybody else like... Uh, yeah, aside from Susi, but Susi is my depth uh, defenseman. So we got some traits to do. I feel like... Unless we don't want to, we want to keep them. I think I might just end up keeping them overall. It is what it is. I'll just keep them and they'll just have to play in the minors. It is what it is, boys. Uh, unless I want to play Alexiak. Well, since I have a better option, I might as well play. There we go. I might as well play Alexiak, uh, keep him as our depth. So Alexiak's going to be our depth player. And Susie's going to be in the, in the minors this time around. Uh, Rask is going to be there with Drieger and we got Dubnik and Dakar. All right. So seems like everything is fine, boys. NHL lines. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do best lines. And I'm going to modify it really quick. So give me a second. All right, boys. So this is what our lineups are going to look like for the beginning, at least. Uh, Schwartz is going to have to stay in the first line. Unfortunately, we don't have a, too much of an option right here. I can't be putting two, uh, three playmakers together. That's just not going to work out. Uh, so what I ended up having to do is I probably can put him right here, actually. Well, no, because he's a sniper, so it doesn't matter too much. It's not like I have... Actually, I do have a sniper in there. So I can put Jan Mark in there with a power forward. Uh, that's already a sniper, right? I'm basically stuck right here, right? These guys, I can't move them. Rackle and Schwartz, or actually uh, Rackle and Malkin, I can't move them. So they got to stay there. It's two playmakers. Uh, we kind of need a sniper in there, though. So, well, we can't put him uh, in there because both of them are snipers anyways. Might as well up it up. I'm going to put Palat in there. Three playmakers playing together. Let's see how it goes, I guess. Uh, for the next part, Schwartz. Now, he's a 2 way forward. Doesn't have a choice but to stay there. Sniper and a power forward. Uh, I think we need a playmaker in there, but we don't have that. So maybe if I put, uh, we, we need somebody like one of these guys too. One of these two guys, whoever is the best. Uh, Strom is the best. So if we put Strom in there, if we put a sniper in there, there we go. That's two-way, 
Playmaker, Sniper. Power forward and the sniper and, and two snipers. Not good, boys. So we need a playmaker in there. Unless we do this instead. And that's actually better. Okay, that's a better combo. Okay. So we put uh, Timoshev in there with Jan, Mar uh, Jan Mark and Ornquist. Power forward, sniper, playmaker. In the fourth line, sniper, playmaker, two way forward. Uh, we still don't have a captain. So we got to choose. Actually, Giordano is our captain. No, wait. I didn't choose him to be a, a captain just yet. So, I don't know who our first captain should be. Uh, we've got Giordano. Iberly as an option. Not really an option anymore. Uh, I feel like. I think Ra Ra Ricard Raquel probably will be. And uh, Malkin definitely won. I think I want to put uh, Malkin as my captain. Malkin's going to be my captain. Uh, we're going to have Raquel as our winger. And uh, Giordano, why not? Uh, actually, you know what? Latan, there we go. Latan, a brand new addition is going to be our uh, alternate, boys. So, all right, here we go, boys. Let's continue uh, simming right here. I think we're going to be fine as it is. Vancouver Canucks. So, we're going to simulate to the regular season. I don't need to see the preseason. The preseason uh, is not worth it at all. It's uh, kind of uh, going to be a waste, anyways. So, let's not do it. Scout assignment doesn't matter. So, what did we do during the preseason? How did we look? Yeah, I think five and two. So preseason was really good to us. So uh, that's a good sign. That's a good sign for us for the se upcoming season, boys. So let's do our thing. Let's start simulating, boys. First game of the season right here up against the Arizona Coyotes. Uh, we're going to see if uh, we can manage to win a goal one for uh, again, win our first game. So against the Coyotes, there it is. First win. First game, first win, boys. 4-1 uh, win right there. Against Ottawa, can we win? 4-1 loss, not good. Uh, Tampa Bay, can we win a game, please? Uh, there's another regulation loss. Uh, Boston, we're going to win that game. Really good. Buffalo, that's a loss. Not good. Uh, St. Louis, there's a win. So it's basically win-loss, win-loss situation right now. we got to play better than this. Yikes, there's another loss. It's really a win-loss, win-loss situation. Yeah, they're exactly that. We win ga a game, we lose the other one. I don't know what's going on here, boys. Uh, Detroit, we can win against them. Come on now. There we go. There's a win. Yeah, that's a garbage team. Detroit's a garbage team. And last but not least, uh, Winnipeg. Winnipeg is kind of a tweener. We're going to give them the win anyways. So that's going to be a loss. So... Tweeners, uh, beginning right here, 5-5. Five, five. We keep losing and then we, like it's a win-loss situation. We don't know what exactly we are exactly yet. All right, well, there's some modifications we need to do, probably. Let's take a look at our lineups first. See what might not be working. Is the three playmakers not working together as all, at all? That's, not, that's just not working. So we're just going to push Schwartz back in there. I think uh, that's what we need to do, boys, because it, I don't think it's working. I just don't think it, it, it was working at all. And uh, yeah, Malkin's not having a good time. So I think we need like someone to balance it out. That, that's the problem right here. All right. So we got we're stuck with two playmakers. So we need someone to like shoot the puck or something. So we need someone to be able to shoot the puck. Palat's not going to do it. So I think Palat's not has got to play on the on that part, boys, on the that pairing. So if we want to do that, it's not a whole lot I can change. I don't want to change the lineups too much. Uh, the third line's doing great. I think it's doing good at least. I mean, Ornquist is producing. He's scoring a lot of goals. Uh, over here, well, I can't really say. The fourth line, fourth line's doing good. So it is what it is. Uh, defensive bar, well, not a whole lot I can do. I think we're going to be fine on defensive bar. Goaltenders. Rask is not doing too good. Okay. Let's take a look at our actual stat for the team itself. Maybe there's something uh, uh, from that to uh, to see. Well, we got a good uh, goals for per game. So our 5-on-5 defense is horrible. Okay. Power play is great. And penalty kill is, is all right, I guess. Our penalty kill is all right. So it is just our 5-on-5, five five, I guess. So maybe our, our defensive 5-on-5 five five is not too good. 
So we can probably switch that up. So neutral zone. Uh, do we want to trap it? I'm going to keep it like that, to be honest. Uh, so we're going to keep it like that. And we're going to do one, two, two, red. There we go. And defensive pair, contain the puck. Protect the net. Let's go high pressure. Let's try high pressure. Collapsing. I'm going to keep collapsing. So collapsing, but high pressure. And that should do it, I guess. The rest is fine as it is. The rest is just fine, boys. So let's keep simulating. Let's simulate uh, at least another 10 games right here. There's a, a W against the uh, Islanders. I want to see if that's what I like to see. Uh, a, a loss against Edmonton. Not good. Can we win against Arizona? No. A one to nothing loss. Really? Can't score a goal right there? Come on now. Oh my god. All right. We keep losing. Fuck, man. This is horrible. This is not good at all, boys. Nashville. Another loss. All right. Time to go quick time simulation, boys. Maybe that's something we need to do. So uh, how many games do we? We have five games. So five more games. Uh, that's going to be four, four games. Let's just go, I guess, one way at a time. So Winnipeg, there we go. There's a win. Uh, Eberle got injured. So we got to replace him really quick with our scratch player. So with Johansson. So Johansson, you're going in there. Johansson is going in the, uh, in the fourth line, boys. Let's do that. Let's see Columbus. Uh, all right. So we got, uh, let's simulate to the next season, boys, right here. Let's see what we got. Columbus, there's a win against them. Tampa Bay, there's a W and a shootout loss to Boston. So we got a point out of that. Uh, pretty good, pretty good. And that's going to be the five games right there. So that, we're at 20 games. We're now 20 games played. 15 points only for Owen Quist. He's our best player. I don't know where Malkin is, but he's not there. He's not there. Now, our last record is worse than the previous one. 4-5-1. and one. Uh, It's even worse, boys. Uh, let's take a look at our stats really quick. I don't know what's going on here. Our, we are not scoring as many goals, so we're worse for wear on goals. We're not scoring uh, goals anymore. Our defense is, is better. So our defense is much better. So at least there's that. Power play is still great. Great. And penalty kill. Dropping down. All right. Well, I don't know what to do about the penalty kill. That's for sure. There's got to be something I can do, boys. Because there ain't no way this is happening right now. I'm going to look at the end eye. Maybe that's what I need to do. So Timishov, you're going there. Uh, Yarn Kroc, you're going there. And who's got the best end eye? Yeah, I got to keep these guys together. So Strom, 87, 86. And Wimberg's got an 88. Let's put it like that. Wimberg in there. Ornquist, he's got 89. And yeah, I got to keep it like that pretty much. And Giordano, all right, so that's good. These guys seem to be doing all right, but uh, for the plus two and everything, but I want to have the best end eye. So uh, let's get Vince Dunn in there. I don't have a choice right here, boys. So Shillington and uh, I guess uh, Flurky and Larson together, boys. I don't have a cho much of a choice right here. That's what we're going to have to do. Uh, let's see against Colorado. Uh, shootout loss again. So there's another, we, we get some points. It's another shootout last, boys. There's a win against the Islanders. There we go. Uh, the Rangers. Can we get a, a W? There's a W against the Rangers. There we go. There we go. Philadelphia Flyers. We end up losing, though. Uh, the New, York, uh, New Jersey Devils. I don't want to do any trades right now. There's a, a loss. I thought my team was going to be better, boys. Turns out it's worse than last year. What the hell is going on here? All right. So we're getting some Ws. Uh, what about Nashville? Eberle's back. So Johansson's going to have to... Uh, he's he's going to have to get his plate uh, replaced again. So Eberle's back. Let's see real quick. He's a 90. So just like uh, Ornquist. Uh, he's actually better than Ornquist. So there we go. He's going to be playing on the second line. There's a, a another W against... Uh, and a shootout W against Nashville. We got three more games to play. Uh, Minnesota, there we go. There's a win. There's a win against Minnesota. Malkin, you can see, is coming back in terms of points. And uh, Vancouver, let's see. Can we get a W, please? There we go. There's a win against uh, Vancouver, boys. And finally, but not least, the Heine Ducks get a win, please. 
get a win. There's a W. There it is. So we're getting we're bouncing back up, and that's a record of seven two and one in the last ten games. Much better, boys. Now we're doing good. We're now we're talking. We're bouncing back up again. So I gotta like just figure out the strategies over time. That's all I gotta do. So see now the lines are seems to be working. They seem to be working. Uh, the the first line seem to be producing a little bit, and uh, everything seems to be working great. The, the third line is doing great. Fourth line is doing all right, I guess. And the spare defensive pairs are doing great. So that's that's good for for us. We got Drieger in there, and uh, yeah, all right. So Tukaras is playing great. They're both goaltenders are doing good now. All right, I think I figured it out. Think I figured it out, boys. Uh, do we are we going back up? We went back up. Good. Goals against. We are doing really good. We're defensively we're doing better and better. So that's really good. And penalty kill. Our penalty kill went all the way down. What the fuck was that? How did our penalty kill all uh, go all the way down like that? That's a mysterious one. I don't want to change any strategies because we had a good simulation there. So let's keep uh, simulating. There's a loss against Anaheim. Vegas, can we get a W? We do, so there's a win against uh, Vegas, boys. Uh, the Calgary Flames, there we go, there's a win. Uh, Blackhawks, there's another win against them, that's three wins in a row. Pittsburgh Penguins, can we get a win? There are four wins in a row, boys, there it is. There it is, I've got the, good, I've got the simulation on my hand. Uh, there we go, get a, uh, get a fifth win. Oh, Tukaras got injured. So we just lost our goaltender, our main goaltender. We're gonna have to get Dubnik in there, so let's uh, let's go ahead and change the lineups really quick. All right, so Dubnik is gonna have to play maybe a game or two. I don't, I'm not sure. Drieger is gonna have to be the main starter. I don't, I don't know for how long Tukaras is injured. Hopefully for not too long. But we got our fifth game win in a row right here. We gotta keep that momentum going, boys. Keep it going. Even though Tukaras is not in the net right now, Drieger is still a good. Uh, there we go. Drieger is still a good goalie for us. So. Six wins in a row. Let's keep it going, boys, against the Detroit Red Wings. Garbage team, but they still managed to break our streak for some reason. All right, that's fine. Let's uh, see Pittsburgh Penguins. Garbage team, we, we got to win against them. They're not a good team right now. And uh, it looks like uh, we got our player back. So Tuka Rask is back. He actually dropped. He's not a 90 overall anymore. He's a, 98, a 99. Yeah, he's actually a 99 overall now. Interesting. I don't know what to do about that, but uh, it is what it is. I guess that's not much I can do. He's just dropping. I guess because of his age, he's starting to uh, to drop, boys. And uh, let's go into the minors. Switch the goaltenders again. Tikkanen, in. You're going back for the Doomnik instead. And there we go. So let's see. Uh, the lots of trades that want to be uh, that that want to be done uh, for me right now. The Minnesota Wild especially want to do a lot of trades with me, but it's not happening, boys. It's not gonna happen. So we got another win against uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. Finally, a pay, uh, Florida Panthers. Can we get a W? That's gonna be a regulation loss, but a record of seven and three for the last ten games. So we are going up, and you can see the production of, uh, point wise of my players is trending up as well. So uh, that's a good thing. That's uh, something we want to see. We are in the wild card spot right now, but if we continue to play good like this, in no time we're going to be able to to get into first position. So it seems like everybody's working out good enough as it is. Take a look at the team stats again. We are trending up again, still trending up and uh, still doing better and better offensively and defensively. Five on five is just doing better and better, boys. Penalty kill? Penalty kill is just doing worse. So I we're trending down in penalty kill, which is not a good thing. So we gotta switch our penalty kill, boys. Unfortunately, I gotta do it. Uh, I didn't wanna change anything because we were winning, but let's go diamond again. Let's go diamond for a penalty kill and let's see if that's going to help out at all or not. We're going to see that in the next video. We did, we did half the season. We're going to do the other half in the next one. So remember to do the like and subscribe to the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Be easy.